Hello, this patron Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another in our series for the Wasser 10 AK-47. We're going to do a descriptive disassembly and reassembly of the bolt. So, let's check it out. Okay, so there's a lot of videos out there how to disassemble and reassemble AK bolts. I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm going to put a lot of description in here so that you can locate the parts for uh, my visually impaired friends. So as it sits right now, I have the bolt um, in my hand. I'm going to, on the left side, I have the narrow end, which is the hammer end or the butt end of the bolt. On the right side is the face of the bolt. Now I'm going to look at the face of the bolt. If you orientate the bolt so that the extractor Right, the extractor I have at the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock position. All right, um, on the 6 o'clock position, you have a square lug. Now, if you feel back from the face of the bolt to the butt of the bolt, um, that lug is actually tapered. All right, and it goes back about an inch and a quarter or so. Um, at the 3 o'clock position, 3 to 4, I guess, is another square lug, but this one's actually squared off. All right, so it doesn't have that taper. All right, um, and then from your nine o'clock to 12 o'clock position, that whole quarter of the bolt is a huge lug. All right, it's a big raised section. And at the 12 o'clock position, on top of that large lug is a small, it's kind of shaped like a triangle that has the corner knock, notched off, but it's recessed back away from the face of the bolt. Um, and that's Got an angle on it. I believe that's part of the locking mechanism in there. Um, so first thing, um, this bolt has a firing pin that is just uh, uh, captured. It doesn't have a spring in there. You can shake it and hear it. Um, there's two retaining pins in this bolt. Now I'm going to, uh, there's one for the firing pin, and it's a fire pin retaining pin. So I'm going to talk about that as just a retaining retainer uh, so I don't have to keep repeating the pin part um, and then there's an extractor uh, retaining pin um, you have to do these in order you have to take out the fire firing pin retainer first all right um, because the the extractor pin has a notch in the end of it and uh, the firing pin retainer actually crosses over half of that the tip of it and so that it retains it and it kind of uh, captures it inside. So you have to take out the firing pin retainer first and what that is um, the bottom at the six o'clock position that tapered bolt if you start at the face and go halfway down the slope um, you can feel uh, that's where the the pin is all right it's there um, and it the exit for it because that's where you, you want to punch through from the bottom through the six o'clock position to the 12 o'clock position and that pin actually comes out on that very top small angled lug on top of the large lug all right right along the edge of that all right and it goes just to the right side of the firing pin all right so that it goes across and once we take it out you'll see how the firing pin gets captured in there all right, um, so first we'll grab a block. Now, a lot of the videos will say that you can use your uh, cleaning kit. Um, there's the punch that's in the cleaning kit, right, um, to push these out. And some of them, you know, they're fancy and they put it on there and they just put some pressure on there and it pops out. But mine's not like that. I had a lot of issues with it when I first got it because this pin or the punch is actually too big for the pin. So I don't know if the hole is mushroomed over a little bit or has been damaged. So I use a smaller punch for the firing pin retainer. I'll grab that one. Let's use this one. Um, so basically what I do is I just got a block of wood. I offset, I lay the, the small lug that's at the 12 o'clock position. You know, the, let's see, right here. Um, I offset that and lay that over the edge, right, because I want to drive the pin through. All right, and then I just locate that. Then I give it some, find a 
hammer here. All right, and we'll just punch this through. All right. So once you punch that through, I'll actually push the punch all the way through. And then you can see where it comes out on that top lug. All right. So, whoop, as we pull that pin out, you can feel that pin. Um, before you reinstall, we will touch up the edges. If there's any burrs or anything like that, but we'll go over that in a minute. So we have that retainer. Now, the firing pin is uh, flat like a popsicle stick or a dipstick. All right, the hammer end of the uh, firing pin is just flat. It goes all the way up to the end, which at the end it has basically a cone, and the tip of the cone is your firing pin that touches the primer off. Um, it has a sloped edge that goes down to one of the flats, right? And so that that's nice and smooth. The other side that actually has the retaining pin um, for the firing pin um, rides on the side that has the notch, so it's a little sharper there. It's more of a 90 degree angle cut out of it. So we'll set that aside. Now the next thing we want to do pull that out. All right, now we can use the regular uh, cleaning kit punch. Um, if you look at the face again, uh, where the extractor is, that large lug that goes from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, if you look at the 9 o'clock edge, there will be a, or you can actually feel it, um, along the edge of that lug is a pin. All right, and this pin is for, the obviously, the extractor. And what it is, um, you have to put tension on, the extractor, you just push on it, and then you can push this pin out. Now the pin comes out obviously at 12 o'clock position of that lug, all right, and it comes out, and that end, actually we'll show you, or I'll show you. Well, I'll tell you when we get it. How about that? Change this around so I can feel it. There we go. Sometimes you can just push this one out. The extractor does stick out past the face of the bolt, so you can actually push it with uh, yeah. All right. As you push that through, you want to make sure that you hold that extractor because it is under spring pressure. So when you pull the punch out, then you can pull your pin the rest of the way out. Now, we'll set the pin down and we'll talk about that, but you remove your extractor, all right, and it has a coil spring under the base of that extractor. The coil spring is parallel with the firing pin, all right, and so when you pull it out, you just want to make sure you don't lose it. It just fits in the bottom of that. The front of that extractor has a notch cut, and that's actually where that pin that we just took out rides in there. All right, and it's obviously that slot is a little bit bigger, so that it gives it the motion. So we'll set that aside. Now we'll look at this extractor pin. This is the pin that has a notch cut into it. All right, the notch portion is the the portion of the pin that sticks out on the twelve o'clock position of that lug. All right, and the notch actually faces towards the the hammer end or the butt end of the bolt all right so that retaining pin for the firing pin that rides just behind that extractor pin all right and they overlap maybe a half of width of the pin and so that just the corner of the extractor pin is notched off and so that's why you have to take the one out first because otherwise you can't drive this uh, extractor pin out. Um, so at this point, everything is clean or clear. Now you can clean it. Uh, inside, you can use your long swabs. Um, just make sure that before you go to reassemble it, that it's dry inside, no lube, no grease. Um, you want that as dry as can be. You use rubbing alcohol with a swab. Um, just make sure it's dry. So. 
that's it we'll clean this up and any of the edges of the pins that are rough you can just touch up with uh, either very fine sandpaper just barely touch it up or um, even an emery board if you borrow one from your daughter you can just kind of touch those edges up so that there's no burrs um, so I'm going to straighten this up and then we'll put it back together